Hey everyone, it's Brie, and today I'm doing an uh, old, abandoned Victorian house. It's kind of inspired by some pictures I saw on Pinterest. I really liked how old and run down some of the pictures looked. I was kind of doing one that hasn't been lived in for like a hundred years or so, but as I was building, I noticed Sims 4 really doesn't have many things to look a build looked lived in or run down or a little more old and abandoned. So you know how you see like houses that have like holes in them or there's no glass in the windows, stuff like that where it just looks like the house was grand at some point. It was probably a beautiful house back in its day, but now it's just a structure that's been left to rot, basically. But we really didn't have anything like that. Even the pillars, they all looked pretty grand. There was nothing that looked like it could still be part of a house, but more broken. I know we have like wallpapers, but they just didn't work for this kind of build that I was doing. They're more modern than I wanted. And even then they just look slimy and it's it's all interior kind of um, wallpaper. They don't have any outside ones. Even with that, I still tried to make it more historical looking and older, but this was very inspired like that. I wanted it to look still lived in. So basically, it's like renovated um, to look a little bit better, I guess, because I couldn't do what I wanted. So this way, it's still old looking while having what I envisioned. Sorry about that, that was totally my bad. I actually put an alarm on to <laughs> post a picture on Instagram so that I could remember to do it because I've been trying to do it for a few days. I went to the beach on Sunday and it's now Wednesday and I still haven't posted a picture of me actually having a life. So I had to put an alarm to make sure I remember to do that. Yeah, yeah, anyways. Um, so this wasn't supposed to turn into a really big build. I actually picked this in my head because I thought it was going to be a small build and I really didn't want to get into another big one because I had just done like so many big ones. But every time I try to make a small build, it ends up being humongous. I don't know why. Maybe I just have big dreams. I don't know. I just get my hopes up. I just... I don't know. I love big houses. There's always so much more to do. And this one just, it needed to be a bigger size. It it really, the pictures that I was looking at, they were massive houses that one day, like back in the day, probably really important people lived in. And not just like common people or the lower class or middle class, but like really I know in England they have like titles not now but they used to they used to have like titles and levels of how poor you were how rich you were kind of thing so there was a class for each person and I envisioned these people being rich and so to be rich you have to have a big house obviously so these people have just a beautiful beautiful house that just got abandoned maybe something happened and they couldn't afford to fix it I don't know and they just left or they, maybe they, were, they didn't have kids to hand it down to and when they died it just sat there with no one to take care of it so that was my idea and it turned out bigger than life <laughs> but as you can see I'm adding just really grays and creams. I really wanted a light looking house. I do a lot of darker builds on, for exteriors and I wanted something that looked light. Even though it was abandoned, I still wanted it to look very inviting. So 
in that small little corner right there there's a little tiny like shack with like a hallway attached to it and in my head I was thinking modern day that would be a garage or a shed or of some kind but that looked like to me I, I wanted it like the guest house kind of thing I wanted to make it look part of the house while still not part of the house if you know what I mean I really wanted something that looked different. I didn't want just a plain old square house. So I added this little extra room house on the side. I don't know what you would call that, but in the end, I think it, it kind of looks like a garage, even though they wouldn't have garages back in the day attached to their houses. But yeah, that's my take on it. So I'm just trying to get like different kinds of windows because in the olden days they had um like the wires on their windows or like stained glass on their windows to m and that was a sign of wealth so I really wanted to put something different and unusual see you're putting barn doors on the other windows I really wanted something that looked older and I really like those barn windows. I don't know why. They just look really cute. So I sized them up a little bit because they're really tiny. And here I'm just putting other windows on the side of the house. I didn't want something that took away from the front part of the house, but I also didn't want the side to look less grand than the rest. And, you know, like having too many windows kind of really complicates things when you're trying to decorate the inside but I think on that third level there that's the library so it won't complicate it too much yeah I did making I made that the library and here I'm just putting more pillars to make it look even more grand in English even though I don't live in England it's kind of like a fantasy I really love those kinds of builds I don't know why I just always love them even though I'm really also attracted to like modern builds not too modern but like cottage kind of modern if you know if you get that I don't I don't know if you get that but I really wanted something that looked old and I think I achieved that so I put a side door in because I always do back doors but I wanted a side door this time and it actually kind of looked a little bit cute. It had like a in, in, what's it called? The in covered porch. Like it's covered with a ceiling, but it's still like outside and it's a porch. I don't know what to call that. Yeah, but I'm just making it look like you can see it from the outside. And I, of course, I want really big windows because those make it look even more grand. And um, this build was on uh, in Windenburg on the biggest lot. I think it's called like Evars Acres or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, it was in Windenburg and I really love Windenburg. The actual like scenery just looks so better than the other ones. And this one doesn't really have cars that go through it. So it gives a better illusion of, um, you know, older, older days. And they have like the rocks and the trees in the background. The other one's a desert and then the other one has like really modern roads and um, a river that's right beside it. But it looked too modern and it had like a train system going through it. So I, th I think Windenburg just has like a really great appeal for older builds in my opinion. And I actually made a character as well who lives here. And she's just standing right there. I wanted, um, I usually make characters so that I can test while I'm building. I can test what works with the move objects cheat. Because sometimes I'll make a build and then I'll put it up on the gallery. And then I'll be playing in the build and I'm actually realizing that like some of the stuff doesn't work this one time. I put a flower vase under the staircase, I, like I took out the walls, I um, deleted the walls from the staircase, it made it like a floating staircase, and I put um, some of uh, some decorations 
under so I put a, a flower vase and that worked she could walk up no fine perfectly fine it was just I put like another vase and then it didn't work so I don't know you just have to make sure that when you're playing that everything works and I don't want to put something up on the gallery that doesn't work and people have to edit especially when it's it's just super annoying when you're in gameplay and you're like constantly clicking and you're like why isn't she walking up the stairs and then you finally realize like an hour later oh that's why so yeah I try to make sure that I use everything before I put it up and that's why that person's there so when I'm building something I can go in live mode and see if she can get where I've in between the move objects things a lot of the time I forget but I've been trying really hard not to and that's why I have reminders for things but here I'm putting like flowers to make it look like someone was living here and I think that's a little um enclosed balcony on the first floor and I'm putting like vines and stuff just really English English um country looking vibe I really wanted a lot of what is it called vegetation on the house I think that's what it's called um and just made it look like it had more character and more depth when you're looking straight at a house with the same colors you can't really see like the different variation all you see is like 2d and you don't really get to see the 3d kind of look but when you put stuff on the house with different colors it m looks more 3d it looks more realistic and so there i'm just making it look really english and lived in i think i end up changing the roof color i don't quite remember i don't know why I put that roof color on now looking back at it I'm like hmm, maybe I should have changed the color of the roof trim <laughs> but uh it looks fine for now it'll probably bug me later though so this out this um build took 11 hours to build and it's not like non-stop hours because I do have to go to work and I also live with people so I have to go and do stuff so uh, it it took all together 11 hours, but not all in the same time. Um, but basically I spent pretty much six hours just on the landscaping and the actual build of the house. And I spent five hours on the interior, which is a long time. But considering how big this build was, I'm really proud that I got it done in only 11 hours. I really... um. When you record it, you get to see how many, in total, how much the hours are all added up. And here I'm making um, a little, like, gazebo attached to the house. I don't know what those are called. But I actually delete all the roof tiles so it becomes a roof. And then I delete it all. And then I put flowers on top so it looks like... I don't know what they're called. I'm pretty sure they're called gazebos. But... It, I think those are the ones that are not attached to the house. Anyways, it's like, I just think it looks like very um, dreamy, like a fairy tale kind of thing. I don't know. I really like it. But those are just the dull daisies that I put on top because they're the only flowers that look cute and sparse. I don't know. I think I only spend like a few seconds on the landscaping here. Yeah. See, you only saw like a few seconds. I had to delete a lot like I'm telling you I had to delete like six hours of me just thinking about what I'm gonna put in here because I paused a lot and I was like hmm what am I gonna do and then I I had to cut a lot of that out because it's just it was like even with speeding up the build it was still at six hours and I had to trim it down to at least ha half an hour I wanted to get it under um 40 minutes so I deleted a lot. Like, I'm telling you, I the editing probably took 11 hours in itself. Never mind the actual building and decorating. The editing is what really gets you. It takes so long just to edit. I probably spent my whole day off from work literally editing because 
it was a really long build. And this is why I said I wanted to do a smaller build. But again, I got carried away and have big dreams of big houses in my head. I just have so many ideas. It's hard to get them all out. So this one, I was like banging out the river. And I'm only going to show you probably like a minute of my thought process for the river. It gets really repetitive. It's just the same thing over and over. So you're probably get bored pretty fast and then it would I think it took me like half an hour to build this river it was really annoying I'm like can I go build something else now but the river is really big and in the end it was worth all the effort I put into it it's just it's it's repetitive you don't want to see I literally put rocks to make it look more realistic and some I went with the purple, white, and green, and I think maybe a pink bush. I just really wanted to get, you know, like, the same colors in. I didn't want it to look crazy rainbow colors. So my colors here were just the green, obviously the rocks, and the purple, and I think I put a pink bush in there. And it just, it's the same thing all the way up to the end. So this is the biggest lot, so it's like 60 by 60, I think. So the river is about 50 long, so yeah, it, it took a really long time. Mm. And I really wanted it to make look more special, so at the end, I put a waterfall in, which I don't think I show you. Pretty sure I don't, but after building the whole river I was like you know what this this river needs something so I, in the end I put um a waterfall at the very back just coming off the rocks just using the the pool tools um not the pool the fountain fountain uh water jet thingy and I made the waterfall and you'll see in the screenshots I'll show you it's just it look, makes it more look, I don't know, it looks more magical. And in my brain, that's what I like, so. Yeah, okay, maybe it was more than a minute long for the river building. So I think I actually cut a lot that I showed you of the landscaping in the front. I didn't even get around to putting the re recording I had for the backyard landscaping. I, it was just so long, I didn't, like, here I'm putting bushes in, and before that I had rocks, and I, you would have seen that before, but I actually took those out, and now I'm putting bushes in. I just had to cut a lot of what I was doing to make it fit in such a short time frame. I had, like, so many different thought processes, and I was thinking, you know, I want to put this in, and then this didn't look right, so I had to do other things. And see how I, I skipped um, the whole backyard landscaping just because it took so long and I just didn't have time to put it in. So it goes straight into building the kitchen. And I really wanted to use like crazy funky colors, even though they probably wouldn't have these colors back then. But then again, I was making it more renovated to look lived in. And here... I think I changed the color. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. No, I think this is the color I stayed with. I don't remember. But um, I really wanted to make like a little breakfast nook right there with the couches. And I wish we had chairs. I really do. I wish we had chairs that looked um, like they could fit all stuck together. Because right there I have about like 15 chairs. And I don't think it's actually usable. Like, sure, your sim might be able to sit there, but I don't think it will register with the table because it doesn't connect because they're couches and not actual dining room chairs. So I am trying to make it look more modern-ish, and I wanted to make sure I got the colors just right, so I did change it a lot. So I have, like, a color scheme right there of the chairs that I was trying to decide which color looked best with the green cabinets. I really wanted like turquoise colors and like blues and greens kind of theme which is what was on the outside as well. 
and here I'm like narrowing down what colors I want and I think in the end I choose different couches see I just really didn't like that blue it just didn't fit with the style I was going in that farmhouse table it just didn't look good and um I think in the end I change it I'm not sure yeah see now there are different chairs now they're dining room chairs and of course they, they don't line up but they're they're beige they match the curtains I just really wanted a really nice color flow I didn't want to get into uh weird colors in such a historical house historical revived house but um I'm putting in different decorations and I wanted to stick to dark woods as well I think yeah I stick to the same colors here and um I tried to put some really crazy tiles but in the end I think these tiles really worked out I really love those um, Victorian ones from the vampire pack in blue and I was trying to use that beforehand unfortunately I couldn't put that into the video but I was trying really hard to use them in one of my builds um, I think I actually used them in a bathroom in a build not this one but a different one I have a lot of builds on the gallery that I haven't recorded simply because it's a lot of work to record videos, edit them, and put them on YouTube. One day I'll get around to putting all my builds on YouTube, but for now I'm just putting the important ones. And in the dining room I'm doing, um, I guess you would call a spring green kind of look. And I already did the bathroom, I had to cut that out, but I put that little screen for privacy. It just looks like revived old school, not old school, revived old English kind of feel. I love it. I love Victorian style and it's so easy because we have a lot of Victorian furniture and decor in The Sims 4 whereas for other kinds of builds like it's it's just modern and then there's Victorian and they don't have like a good mix of in-between stuff which really sucks. I hope they come out with more packs soon so that I can build to my heart's content. And I really wanted to get a piano for entertaining. Back in um, probably the 1800s and even the early 1900s, they had people who would play for them or after they were done eating, um, the the ladies would play a tune on the piano for their men and family and that's what women were trained in was needlepoint like sewing and knitting and piano and just knowing how to run the house that was a lady's job and I thought the piano fit well for entertaining and I was trying to keep very well to the browns creams um, greens and blues in this particular build. Usually in some of my builds I get creative and I make um, some of the rooms just not match the other rooms which is really a bad habit of me just because I have a different visions when I'm making my houses for my sims just to play not even for building purposes but just to play. I usually make each room like a different color scheme because it's just so much fun. <laughs> But um, we, we don't have a lot of furniture that actually matches the same colors with the woods. It's hard to find woods that look the same unless you use what it came with. So I have to use the same chairs that came with the table unless I want to find a different color wood. And it doesn't just, it doesn't really go. I really wanted to fit a bar in here, but I couldn't. And I really wanted that fireplace, so I sacrificed the bar and I think I put the yeah I put the little globe in there instead it's too bad that when you uh, enlarge the rugs they don't fit and they go outside the room but say lovey I think in the end I actually put a few pictures up maybe 
not yet no okay now the pictures um again not many always have to put the same pictures in every build i wish we had different photo frames but yeah i put the put that forgot i put that but they don't have a big one and so i put the two together trying to make three into a really big one where they would store a lot of their antiques yeah and i think that's the end for that nope almost oh, lights yes we need lights i found those lights really dull and you always have to put in like 10 lights in one room and here we skip to the pink and cream bedroom and i really like that magenta color and i was trying forever to pull off those curtains and so everything in this room is based off of those curtains but yeah that would probably want be one of the guest rooms or even the main bedroom and then this is the bathroom attached to it i think every bedroom i made in here was with included a bathroom i think they all have their own bathroom just because I had so much space and I even have a third floor right so I had so much space to make bedrooms and bathrooms so I just went all out and each room had their own bathroom each room has their own master suite it was kind of cool but the room next to it I made a really dark themed room where I thought maybe a man would like prefer because obviously the man's not going to sleep in the really feminine room that we just did there so the darker ones probably for a man or a teenager or whatever and i forget what i put in this bathroom but i know i put another one of those screens just for privacy from their maids because they probably have maids and here I was trying to I was trying to make something new. I really liked that sink and it looked old or than the other ones that we have, but it just it wouldn't work with anything we had. And I'm pretty sure when you put um a cabinet over the standing pedestals that it doesn't actually work. But here I picked one of the older looking sinks. And I think that's what we stay with yeah i hate that when you size up mirrors it the mirror part of it actually goes away and it's like on the other side of the the wall <laughs> i hate that but yeah i'm just continuing with the magenta theme and the creams honestly this build took forever i don't even remember half the stuff I did. I'm really just recording a whole bunch of videos in the same day because I went crazy, crazy build mode and I love building. Sometimes I don't even want to record. I didn't want to record today. I really just wanted to continue building. I'm in that mood where you're like, I feel creative. I need to do something. But you know, I really had to get this done. I don't have many days off to record and there's only a certain time of the day that my boyfriend's not home i don't like when he listens so i have to uh do it when he's not home else i'll get like nervous nervous chatter and just talk about stuff that i didn't want to talk about when he's there so i really only have a certain amount of time to do recordings and i wanted to put candles beside this just to make it look a little bit more romantic but I think in back in their days, I don't think they would let candles sit on the ground. But it looked cute and I liked it. So that's what happened. Um, I think we skip. I'm not sure if I show you the other room or not. Maybe. Yeah, I showed you a partial amount of the other room. And I did use the crazy blue tiles in the other room. But so basically, f I did the character for this build. She's an old school artist and she's actually the breadwinner, which is unusual because women don't actually work. They are the sole providers. 
for the family. They they raise the family. They deal with the house and the staff members of the house, whereas the men is usually the one who does all the other work. But she is actually an artist, and right now she's alone, but eventually when I go and play, she's going to find a great guy, and they're going to move into this house, and into her family house, and um, eventually have some kids, and a great little family, because this house can hold, um, I think there's four bedrooms, uh, no, there's only three, one, no, there's four, there's four bedrooms, there's um, the blue room, the pink room, and then the red dark room, and then there's also this, um, pristine white room that has two, um, children's beds, which you can turn any color you want for the sake of this build. I made it, um, neutral gender-wise, just because you could put two kids in there and they could be whatever gender you want. I just didn't want to choose one gender because then you'd have to change everything and they only had one bed selection that looked um more victorian so that's what i did there in this room i actually forgot to make a butler's room um a lot of the time butlers usually live in the house and I totally forgot to make a room for him. So he actually ends up having this blue room just because I don't think he would like the pink room. <laughs> and um, the dark room is really dark for a butler. He'd probably be like really depressed in there. So I thought he'd like the blue room a bit, little bit more. And uh, I think I'll put in, when I go to play it personally, I'm, I'll probably um, add on a butler's room downstairs by the kitchen when I go to play just because normally butlers would not live on the same floor as the rest of the family they're usually on the main floor or in a lower part of the house not near any of the family members because they were staff and not family so I'll definitely probably do that when I go to play the game I was having a hard time picking furniture for this room just because I, it's just so hard to find like like colors. See, like a lot of the colors don't actually match and it looks kind of funky. I really don't like that. But I really wanted to make sure I pulled off this build. I was trying to cover up that weird window frame that didn't work out there. And then the picture would just go right through the window every time. So I think actually, yeah. I expanded it to make it better because I really didn't like I really didn't want people to see that ugly window stick in there like you can hardly tell now that there's pictures over top of it and here I'm making a seating area because normally a lot of rooms would have either a separate dressing room or a separate seating area so you would walk into like an adjoining room and it would walk into the sitting room and then you would walk into the bedroom, but there'd still be two doors to the hallway. But typically they would have a sitting room or a dressing room. And I just don't have that much time to put in extra sitting rooms and dressing rooms for every room. So I may do with this. I think it looks better than making a tiny other room to add on. But I definitely love, love, love putting fireplaces in bedrooms it just it makes so much sense because that's how they they didn't have furnaces they had fireplaces and if you wanted your house to be warm in the winter you would have every fireplace going in every room an occupant was staying in and so that's how they keep and I really wanted to stay true to the older and the older days and how they built because nowadays hardly any houses have fireplaces and even if they do their gas or electric, they're not real fireplaces where you build wood and chop from trees and put in. Back in the day, that's how they did it. And I thought I should stay true to how they 
did it because that would make sense for an older build. I put those suitcases in. Unfortunately, they have like a lot of really bright colors. So I tried to pick um, neutral colors. They didn't have like blues that were less modern looking. And I wanted the tea set in there. I think I put it in on a side table. But I really wanted that um, tea set on there because they would always take tea and I drink a lot of tea as well so I would love a tea set in my room unfortunately I don't spend that much time in my room drinking tea <laughs> and I actually I don't think I show you um any of the third floor as I said again it just took way too long a time like it would have been at an hour still and I don't think people want to sit through a whole hour of a build so I chopped down a lot of stuff but basically there's a lot the whole third floor is like a library and there's this little like octagon room attached to the library on the floor third floor and it's just kind of like a sitting room. I didn't put too much decorations in there. I left it up to anyone's imagination to fix it because typically libraries would not be on the third floor. They're just way too heavy to be supported on the third floor. It doesn't make sense, but um, I didn't have anywhere else to put it and I didn't have any other ideas for the house for a, f a third floor. Not a lot of houses have th third floors, so I improvised and made a library, a kind of makeshift library. You'll see it in the screenshots. I do include it. And if you do download this game on my um, gallery ID, you will also see it, which I'll put in links below for that to um, download. But um, typically, I, most people don't stay around for a whole video. And with that, I'm going to leave you guys. I'm starving here, so I'm going to go make dinner. Starving Marvin. I'm just so hungry. But you guys enjoy the screenshots. Don't forget to follow uh, me below. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.